Happy Whiskey Wednesday, everyone. I'm Robin, and I took a couple of weeks off from YouTube, but I am back with something very special to taste for Savor at Home number 78. Now, before I tell you what I'm tasting, I do have a little bit of a fun fact. Less than 2% of distilleries are women owned and operated, but the one I'm trying tonight is both women owned and operated. This is from Freeland Spirits. This is their bourbon. Look at that beautiful bottle, my goodness. It's surprising that there aren't more women distillers and women founders of distilleries because as women, we do have better olfactory senses on average. I know that most of my viewers are male, so this video might not get a lot of views. Freeland Spirits is located in Portland, Oregon and was founded by Jill Cooler. I believe that's how you pronounce her last name. Jill, correct me if I'm mispronouncing your last name. And Molly Troop, who is the distiller there. They founded Freeland Spirits in 2017 and first released a gin. I have yet to try their gin, but it does sound super cool. They use both regular pot distillation as well as vacuum distillation using a rotovap. In 2018 is when they launched their bourbon. So yeah, let's talk about the bourbon. It is sitting at 46% ABV and costs about $50. So not bad at all. Plus at the end of it, you get this beautiful bottle. This is a sourced bourbon with a mash bill of 70% corn, 20% rye, and 10% malted barley. And it said that the batches are a blend of both three and 12 year old bourbons um, that are aged obviously in new charred American oak. And then Freeland Spirits finishes the bourbon for five months in Pinot Noir casks that they got from Oregon's Elk Cove. Before I taste this beautiful whiskey, I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to support the channel and for being a part of a neat community over on Patreon. Now, if you watching also want to join our community and help support the channel, I've left the link to our Patreon in the description below. But otherwise, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, leave comments, all the other things that you're supposed to do to help with the analytics for YouTube videos. <laughs> that, of course, supports the channel. All right, let's dive in. This bourbon is a beautiful copper color. Now, right off the bat, I'm getting hit with a bunch of spice. It's pepper and cinnamon and some dried herbs. There's also some fruitiness, like dried cherries. And there's some roasted nuts in here, but it's like the mix of roasted nuts that has cashews and almonds and pecans and Brazil nuts. There's also some sweet orange, like maybe a tangerine. And I'm getting a little bit of like malted milk balls, like Whoppers. There's some toffee and some cocoa powder. Initially, there is a little bit of heat, um, maybe a little too much for 46, or maybe this is my first bourbon of the night, so I'm just not acclimated. Um, and that quickly subsides and turns into some nice warmth, and there's a very creamy mouthfeel. It's really nice. The initial flavors are dark chocolate and candied orange peel and some of those toasted nuts again, or roasted nuts, and some caramel. There's a little bit of dried fruit. There's some prunes and almost like a fig jam. And there's a lot of spice. There's cloves and star anise. And the finish is a little bit dry. Overall, I think this is delightful. I am so excited to see what else Freeland Spirits releases. This is the sourced bourbon uh, that they released while they're producing their own whiskeys. 
So I'm very excited to see that. But this is a really tasty bourbon, definitely worth $50, especially because you're supporting a distillery that is founded and run by females. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you've tried any of Freeland Spirits products. Wow, I've got some like steam on this glass.